Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. This is Elizabeth with Fuego Fit Nation. I wanted to jump in here really quick and share with you guys a quick breakfast um, idea, meal prepped idea that any of you guys can put together the night before or even the morning of as long as you have the right ingredients in your home, right? So I'm about to head out and go do some grocery shopping because I am hosting a seven day crock pot and core challenge which starts on Monday. Um, there is an event page here on my Fuego Fit Like page. You can go in there and take a look at the details. It's completely free. I am providing a shopping list so that you can take that shopping list and go and get your ingredients so that you can make some crock pot meals. I have some delicious meals to share with you guys. And you guys know that as a busy mom, I love to use my crock pot. And guess what? All of next week, I'm gonna have all my crock pot meals ready to go. I'm gonna buy some Ziploc bags and put all the ingredients together on Sunday. And I'm gonna have dinner easy, ready to go. I'll just take it out the day before or in the morning, put it in the crock pot and the crock pot's gonna take care of dinners. Now let me tell you guys, that is so helpful, and that is why I like to share with you guys um, these tips on how to meal prep and how to keep it simple so you don't overcomplicate the whole thing about meal prepping. I know people are like, what's meal prepping? What does that mean? Where do I start? What do I do? What do I buy? Like people get, um, we get overwhelmed, and trust me, as a family of six, it can be overwhelming like the day that I'm prepping because I have all the food out, there's a mess in the kitchen, I have you know all my groceries, I have all my containers out and ready to go. So yes, the process can get messy, but let me tell you, if you make the time to meal prep, whether it's having the right fruits and vegetables and produce and meats and all of that just ready to go, that's going to cut back so much stress during the week, right? So would you rather have one day of, you know, stressful meal prepping or an entire week? And I know by, the, by Thursday and Friday, people are done. Like they don't even want to like cook anything. And so what happens? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fast food, takeout, junk food, the kids aren't eating right, you're not eating right, people are hungry and stressed, and then what happens? Nobody really does anything about it. So that's what I like to share with you guys as a, as a mom, working mom, a family of six, um, these tips on meal prepping. I kid you not, I was about to head out, I grabbed my stuff and I'm like, wait, I have to share this video. And this is how, you know, I think, because this is what I'm doing. I literally got up super early this morning, made a bunch of bacon, made some eggs, and, you know, and got ready, took the girls, took Monet to school, and, and here we are. And I'm like, okay, I'm about to head out, and I have my meal with me because I had um, my post-workout shake, so most likely I'm going to eat this really quick before I walk into the grocery store, especially some fruit because... Research shows that if you eat fruit before you go shopping, you kind of curve that sweet tooth and you're not wanting to buy all the junk food. Okay, so anyhow, let me share with you guys this quick breakfast idea and I've hosted other meal prep groups and this was kind of one of the meals that I had the girls create in the group. And again, that seven day free crock pot group um, and core challenge starts on Monday. So if you want to get in, I need you to either go to my um, Elizabeth Laguna Rocha page and comment on the post. Um, you can invite some friends, and you know the more the more the merrier. And I think when you when you have people around you who are doing this, it makes this that much easier. It's like a little support group, right? But we have each other here online, so. You might as well learn something new um, being on Facebook, right? So, again, let me share with you what I have here. I have to slow down sometimes. <laughs> I, I catch myself because I'm always in go-go mode because it's crazy. Like, before you know it, it's time to pick up the kids, time to pick up all of them and, you know, just get 
the afternoon going. Luckily, it's Friday, so it's not that crazy busy. But tomorrow we have an event. We have Fit Club in town. So free workout. So, I mean, we offer so much for our people in the community to get back on track or start their journey. It's ridiculous. So if you haven't made it out to our Fit Club, there I also have an event page here on my like page. So check it out. Join me. Like, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to, to go do this stuff. So anyways, enough preaching, Elizabeth Rocha. So what do I have here? So I have some turkey bacon. I love this. Winco. Okay, so I made a ton of bacon this morning. Um, yesterday was a very late night and um, the girls requested some, you know, a little extra breakfast. So made some turkey bacon. And I love to get my blueberries at Costco. Yes, there's a difference between different stores and their blueberries. Sometimes the blueberries from Costco, these are from Costco, they're, they're big and they're crunchy and I love that. So I like to go to Costco and get, you know, the, the blueberries, bananas, apples and stuff like that. And then I have, these are the eggs, you can get them at Winco, Costco, whichever store you prefer. We like to get the extra large eggs, extra large eggs. And then I have here some, uh, this is Greek yogurt. I don't eat a lot of dairy, I just... It doesn't, I don't, I don't eat a lot of dairy. I don't eat a lot of cheese. I don't eat a lot of yogurt. I get my probiotics from my Shakeology, which is what I need for my digestion. So I know a lot of people like the Greek yogurt for the probiotics because it helps keep things regular along with fiber, right? So then I have some cinnamon here. So what I did this morning was we boiled some eggs, right? And then I had the bacon and I like to, um, portion this out in the separate containers. I have the single containers. These are the, the three compartment container and I get my containers on amazon.com. Actually, Felipe orders that stuff, okay? We haven't purchased some in a while. We have so many containers and they still, they're still really good to go. So I have two eggs, I have my blueberries and then I have my turkey bacon. And you guys know I love Tapatio, and yes, these little containers I bought at the 99 cent store, 10 for a dollar. So with these little containers, you can put salsa, we put hummus, almonds, we portion out our almonds too. I mean, I know almonds are healthy, but too much is too much for your body. It just doesn't digest it. Okay, people say, I love eating a whole package of almonds, but Ask yourself, you know, is your body breaking it down and and using it up? If you have too much of something, your body it's only going to break down what it what it needs, and then the rest it stores it, right? It's, and if you're not doing exercise, well, guess what? Your body's not using it for fuel, so it kind of just sits there. Okay, so that's the thing with with food. People love to eat. Well, guess what? If you love to eat, work out. Seriously, work out because your body will burn it. It's the fact that you love to eat or people love to eat, but they don't do any kind of exercise. So what happens to all the food? It just stays there. Your body doesn't digest it. It doesn't absorb what it needs. And, and you know, everyone has their own physique, their own way that they want to look and feel. So do that. You know, if you want to feel good, then do the things that make you feel good and feed your body the good foods. And for me, meal prepping, whether it's breakfast or snacks or lunch or dinner, this is what I do, you know. So this is one example of a breakfast idea. It's turkey bacon with blueberries, two boiled eggs, and my tapatio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a, a teaspoon, okay, on top of my blueberries. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some cinnamon for that sweet tooth. And there is my breakfast meal prep okay so again keep it super simple um you know this is what i do you can do um you can also do oats you can do eggs with vegetables um say for whatever reason just get up a little bit extra earlier if you don't like to meal prep your breakfast like the night before egg muffins are perfect to meal prep the night before and you can make for the next two, three days. Um, protein pancakes, perfect. But again, let me tell you this, when it comes to protein pancakes or flour, any of that stuff, 
you still can't have a lot of it, especially if, if you're wanting to achieve a certain goal, okay? If you have a weight loss goal, if you have a transformation goal, if you have some, you still have to eat for whatever goal you're working towards, okay? A lot of people say, I love pancakes, you eat pancakes, yes, but I also exercise. And it's 80-20 rule, okay? I don't have pancakes every single day. I love pancakes. Like some people love donuts and they love coffee, I love pancakes, like I love to have pancakes. My mom loves pancakes, so that's probably where I got that from. She is, she loves her Denny's pancakes, and so maybe that's where I got it from, right? The apple does not fall far from the tree. So if you're on here and you have any questions before I close off, please feel free to ask. If you are just jumping on and you're not catching the live recording, Leave your comments, leave your questions here. I can go back and answer them at a later time and, and answer those questions for you. Again, don't forget to have my seven day free crock pot and core group starting on Monday, February 13th. The core meaning we're gonna do some crunches, some app work, okay? So if you want to not only focus on making some simple crock pot meals, um, you're also gonna get some exercises in there. You guys know I love that stuff. So it kind of goes hand in hand, right? So again, thank you so much for watching. Um, please share this video, invite your friends, like my page, um, you know, let me know what other things you'd like to hear from me as far as nutrition, fitness, traveling, mom strategies, <laughs> whatever, right? You guys, it's, it's pretty crazy, but we, together, we can find a way to make this work for us. So again, have a great day. Thank you for watching and be careful out there um, if it's raining or a storm going through your area. You gotta, gotta stay safe, all right? And that's why I'm taking care of the grocery shopping today so I don't have to worry about all the craziness over the weekend. I avoid the lines. I even try to do it like on a Friday, late or super early Saturday mornings to avoid any lines out there and just get the prepping going, take care of that, get it out of the way. And guess what? We'll be ready to go for the week. Again, guys, have a good one and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.